What are you doing over there looking smug? Hello art friends. We are back with probably one of like our most requested videos. Highly like, anticipated, yeah. You've probably seen the title and if you didn't know we have quite a history with reviewing Arteza products on this channel. I, I didn't know this but yeah apparently we do. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget it was we news videos to me. Yeah, I was like oh yeah. <laughs> we have got a barrel of Arteza coloured pencils. These ones are premium. Ooh. Oh, 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 I like that. I like premium. Then I also noticed that there's these ones in a tin oh. called Expert. Okay, now, you know what I'm gonna say? What the heck's the difference? That's what one of the things I was confused about. I think basically this is like student grade and this one's like artist quality. Oh, so the tin's like the, yeah, the big kahuna and one. Yeah, I couldn't find any videos of people who'd done like a comparison of the two, so I thought that might be interesting. I also want to point out that we did- oh, Patches is having a drink. Like, <laughs> Patches. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that we did spend our own money on these. So. Yeah, yeah, we, we haven't been, basically we, money has not crossed our hands to affect what we're going to say. Mm. This is going to be honest. Yeah. We haven't been gifted this or anything. This is something that we have gone on our own accord and we don't make an awful lot of money off this channel these days. So this was a big investment. And if I'm cranky about it, you will know about if these, it. <laughs> yeah, if these are bad, boy howdy, are you gonna know about it? <laughs> How much in total has this come to between the two of them? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head, but I will put it on screen for you guys. Yeah, so I'll probably know. stick it in the thumbnail as well. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, you'll know. When I spend money, you guys know about it. it. Has two pieces of tape on it. I can tell you that much in the review so far, guys. <laughs> Woo! I've also noticed it comes with all the colour names on the side. I like Ooh, that. Do you want me to let me let me let me get a little bit closer there, it is. See, now that's handy because not only does it have the swatch of the colour, but they're named. So for someone like me, that's a big plus. And I like these that. ones, it does say that they're like triangular, which is meant to be better for like holding. <gasps> oh, and it's got the colour names on the side. We are a fan of that happening. Wow. I love the whole aesthetic of like pencils like arranged in a pot and stuff. I've always been a fan of that. This is the one I'm probably most excited for. That one Ooh. does have them on the back again. Ooh. Yes. Now just so you know, I am a fan of a tin. This is a really nice tin. I'll give them that. Looks like it's even got like hinges on the tin. Whoa. No, oh, I meant that. That lid ain't going That's nowhere. Like a... <laughs> and it's got like all the little swatches on the back as well. I quite like, oh, what's it say? A guarantee. If your product does not perform properly, please contact us for a replacement. So, so in other words, don't make a video about it. <laughs> Email us first. <laughs> oh, it's got all like the light fastness writings over here as well. Oh, okay. That's actually really useful. With I like, all, like that. the little pluses and yeah. everything. Go on, um, defoam me. Ooh, that looks good. It looks like there's a nice assortment of like colours. Um, I like here. that as well, the tray thing with the fingers. Ooh. Little finger holes. So how many trays are we working with? I'm gonna I'm guess feeling two. it's the two. Yeah, this is a two tray box of chocolates. There'll be two trays and probably 24. Like um, above and below. What's the bigger sets of these? Oh, is this like the biggest one? No, I don't think so. Um, again, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't think that was the biggest one. I think there was one that was even bigger. Oh. If you think, remember when we did the Arteza gouache, there was loads in there. Yeah, I think that was one of the biggest ones that yeah. for that one. I feel like maybe I'll be a bit easier to please with like pencils, because like with gouache, I am such a gouache snob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I might have to swatch some of these. Oh, great. You know, I was ready to be angry at these pencils, but to oh, be honest- I'm hungry all. We're all just so <laughs> ready to be angry. Literally just because we spent money on it and we really don't have an awful lot right now. Okay. But to be honest, like these ones are supposedly the student grade ones, although they are still called premium. Yeah, these are the, you know, and the cheaper- 48 in this uh, barrel thing. Correct. Uh, look at all these colors that are over here. I feel like you get definitely a lot of them. Are you gonna, you wanna and hold it up? Yeah, let me, let me come a little bit closer, up. because... Like, a lot of, like, um, cheaper, like, student-grade pencils 
come out like not very pigmented and I feel like these ones have come out like I've got to a admit, lot more pigmented than I expected. That is literally the first thing I thought when when you were just swatching away and I was watching you. I was like, um, I was very impressed at how uh, vibrant and pigmented they were for the cheaper set of the two as well. Yeah, so what I'll probably do next is um, swatch from the tin set and we'll compare the two swatches and then maybe like draw something. Steph had an amazing idea where if we draw like a like a bust, like a head and some shoulders or something like yeah, that and do so half like, and half. Some kind of a picture where it's symmetrical and yes. half and half and then on one half we'll colour it with like the student grade ones and then the other one we'll colour it with the expert and then we can compare the two. I tell you, she's not just a pretty face. The expert ones, I definitely noticed that uh, they felt a bit more like creamy and like thicker to like work with. So it's more smooth. Yeah, if Ooh. you look on these, you can see yeah, I've nice got more close. of like a scribbly effect on these ones. Oh yes, yeah. Whereas these ones, you can definitely get a lot more of like a flat, like a flat layer. Color layer. I think like um. Obviously one of the biggest differences between the two is probably going to be that the expert ones are a lot more like light fast than what the premium ones are. I keep getting mixed up between expert and premium. I know because the, <laughs> they're both sound so like the same level. <laughs> <laughs> but for anyone who's like not that big on like coloured pencils, they just fancy getting like some in that are like, yeah, they're pretty good quality. I'd say they're some of the nice ones that we've tried. Will your opinion change? when you've drawn something though. Maybe. We need to get to sketching something now. Yeah, yeah, let's do- well, I guess that's what we'll do next. Let's draw something and put them to the test then. Okay. Oh, so you've done like, it's a cake, right? Yeah, I've quickly sketched up a cake mm -hmm. and I'll put like a line down the middle. Oh, that's a super defined line as well. Yeah, Whoa. so we definitely know like which side is which. Okay, yeah. Uh, and because I've got the premium on like this right hand side, this one will be premium, this one will be expert. expert. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll do the same as you then. I think that'll be easy to tell which is which, yeah. Okay. But since you were going for like a character, I mm -hmm. thought I'd go for something that uses like really bright colourful colours so I'm going to go with things that use a lot of like food colouring and like I think that's sprinkles. a good idea. We'll get a better range as to how good they are if we do different things. Yeah, plus we both colour in slightly different ways because like Adam tends to sketch more like lightly and I tend to be sort of like colour. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being passionate about colour, dear. Check this bendy ruler. Oh yeah, that's my bend. Isn't that amazing? Did you guys or do you guys have one of those? You were as, god this is gonna age me, you were popular as heck if you had one of those. Yeah, now, I remember in year seven at school. Of course I didn't have one. <laughs> I had to wait until like my late twenties to be able to get one. My friend had one and he used to let me play with his bendy rollers. So I'm like oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's yeah. like virtually second base. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that hits me, and you didn't say anything which is interesting because you're quite I was gonna say a smelly girl. You you're very sensitive to smell. Is um they smell very like wooden, don't you think? They do have a strong scent to them. Like they definitely smell woody woody. What should we do? Should we go with pink? I kinda like pink. I'm feeling the pink. Well, and just whatever you do on one half, just remember we gotta match the colours on the other side. Oh okay. Um this is peony um, pink. Adam wanted to start off with the expert colours. Peony. Look out, we got a pro over here. I can see what you mean, for, although, although, we got to give it credit where it's due, it could be the paper. Um, These ones are the fancy ones. These are the fancy ones? Yeah, that's why they're in a tin. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Well, we, we, you know, I digress, we carry on. Um, Do you like a swatch on the side and try and like push down really hard with it? Oh, okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's capable of doing it. You're just sketching really lightly. <laughs> Are you saying that the artist is blaming his tools? I don't want to... Mm, do I want to blend stuff? I don't know. Do I do kind of... I've got a line here as well. Don't worry, I'm not going to keep okay, going. Okay, good. <laughs> just just, just watch really me colour it like, in. <laughs> breaking rolls with any kind of art challenge that we've got. No, 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 no. I'm a good boy. Look, the line's there. That's where I stop. I'm, I'm a good boy. 
It's pretty nice. I'll put that there because um, I've seen... Where is it? Yes, sienna brown. I found a nice brown that I want to try and use for the coat. There's another layer under it as well in case there's any other colours. But oh, okay, okay. To be honest, the way that they're layered, you kind of get like a nice rainbow in both like layer. Yeah. Yeah, I was quite impressed. Oh, that's a nice brown. Oh, this one, this pencil feels, okay. This one feels a lot smoother than the yeah, pink one. Yeah, I think it might be to do with like the light fastness or something, because some of them are definitely a lot softer and creamier than others. Yeah, this one, this is way, way, way softer. Oh, that's so strange. I think he must have started with like one of the harder ones. Oh, it is, look. Can you see here? Oh, it's got like a star rating It's on the it. hardness scale, I think. This one's five. Whereas look, this one is three. on here. It's the light fastness, it says on the top of the box. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't reading the box. <laughs> yeah, so this one's like not light fast at all, whereas the brown is quite light fast indeed. I, I do, I kind of like them. Although these are the better ones. Oh God, I hope I haven't like tainted the, uh, the other ones by using the fancier ones first. <laughs> to be honest, the other ones are pretty good quality. But I did start with like the cheaper ones and then went to the more expensive ones. Ooh. I wonder if it does sort of vary the experience mode depending on which one. Which you start ones with. do you? Yeah. Well, I'll run back over to uh, my yeah. drawing. Yeah, you got a colour in too, Miss. Yeah, I've, I've put quite a lot of details in mine to colour in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got this half coloured in with the student colours so far and now I'm going to trade these coloured pencils with the expert ones with Adam. With me? Yeah, here you go. Oh, thank you. There you go, expert mama. Do you want to see expert. what I've... Do you want me to hold this up as well, see what I've done so far? Yeah, let's have a look. There you go, that's what I managed to do so far. Okay, so this is what I've managed to do with mine, but one thing that I've noticed and again, I don't know if this is my eyes, is on camera, what you guys are seeing, it seems more saturated on camera than IRL. Don't worry guys, I'm coming over. Like, what? what's your opinion? Um... Steph's just looking between the two? I don't know, I feel like it looks pretty accurate Do to you what reckon? it goes on. This camera sometimes on the screen looks a little bit more saturated, but when it's uploaded to the computer, it tends to be you the sure? same. But it's very subtle. Or maybe it's just me being colorblind again. <laughs> But that's what I've got so far. And because I don't think it was in focus when I tried to show you guys what oh, I've no. done. There you go. Uh, here's the half I've coloured. I've tried to really do sort of like a hard solid line. Yeah, it looks really good. Difference. I really like yours. Okay, so I guess... Um, it's time to switch it up, honey. And I've got your pencils over here now. Ooh, oh, I like those. There you go. And, ooh! <laughs> Get to work, girl. First impressions with these, right? The which ones are these? <laughs> the pre oh the premium gosh. ones. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're so, they're named so similarly. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is um they're all in the tube or the barrel, whatever you want to call them. So I can't immediately see the names. And it took me a minute to find the apricot one of this. So that was a little bit a little bit sad, but you know, if you're not colorblind, it's not it's not really going to affect you guys very much. Another thing, these have that triangular shape that uh, Steph was talking to you guys about earlier, uh, and the other ones don't. I have to admit, just using these as I am right now, uh, these are a lot more comfortable to hold because of that triangle shape. I am quite a fan of that. In terms of like, uh, what's the word? Smoothness again, I guess you could say, between the two, because this is like a live reaction. This isn't the first time I'm using these. Is um, this one? This one, the apricot one. Although it's only a uh, a grade three on the light fast, so this one's going to be pretty soft anyway. I, I would say it it's pretty similar. Affects the softness depending on the light fastness. You reckon? I think it does. Maybe it's a placebo. I could just it could just be a load of rubbish, but to me, it feels like it does. Is there a blue in here? There's one in that set that we've switched now, just called blue. It wasn't called like peacock oh, blue or what thingy type blue. What blue are you looking for? It was literally just called blue. It didn't have like a fancy name or anything like that. It was just called blue. And it, I don't think in this set, unless I'm just going nuts, like we've got periwinkle, a lilac, which isn't blue. <laughs> 
<laughs> My bad. Uh, we've got peacock blue. Uh, la lavender, that's purple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, this, <laughs> this is literally, this is true. This is what I would, this is what I'd have to do. Egg, egg, oh god, they're getting darker. Eggplant. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a problem. Um, unless we're missing it or unless the set doesn't have it. There is not one just called blue in oh, this set. Have a look on the back of the barrel because it does have an, all the colors. Oh my god, why did I just look at this to begin with? Lavender, ultramarine, peacock, blue, periwinkle, indigo. Oh yeah, there isn't. Okay, so the colors are different too. Yeah. Bugger. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what I managed to make. I have a few thoughts. <laughs> Ooh, what are your thoughts? My first thought is not all the color names are the same and that's a big problem. <laughs> Okay. The Why is that a big problem? Because I wanted to match it and it doesn't <laughs> look the same. That's what it, it upset me. Um, the premium set has nicer barrels to hold, but they're a pain to find because like the, because the, name, the, the names are hidden. Yeah. And the premium set is not as softer as the expert set, in my opinion. Yeah, you might have had like an easier job of like uh, colour matching because I didn't go by like the colour names I just sort of like eyeballed it but obviously can't do that. for you, you can't do that. <laughs> Can I see what you did hun? But here is what we got. Can you see like a difference between like the two? Kind of. I would say that the uh, premium ones mm -hmm. this slash student ones as you've written there are more washed out. In my opinion. Yeah, I the feel like on a strong. slightly more of like a pastel scribbly look. Yes, yeah, more lighter, definitely. And I've been able to get like a, a slightly darker color, I'd say, with this half. With that one. Would you, because this is like the, the big conclusion, I guess, would you buy them? Let me quickly look up how much uh, the buff costs, because that's going to be like a big factor for me. Oh, okay. One second, guys. One moment. Okay, I've looked up the prices. So the barrel of these ones are about fifteen pounds, which so that's saying about twenty dollars. Twenty bucks. Yeah, and the tin. It was, a it was a little more. I think in English it was 19. 25. 25. So a five dollar difference. Yeah, I feel like that's not actually a big price difference between the two. Honestly, I'd probably go for the better ones. Unless you prefer like the, the, the triangular shape of that, these. I tell you, that's the only thing that those have got going for them is the shape. <laughs> Feel free to check out our other RTs of videos that we've done in the past. We've got quite a lot. We'll link. Well, we've got two other ones. We've got one on gouache and one on watercolor. Well, now we've got three. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to check out our comic books, we've got these on Amazon. Links down in description. Available now. Very good. Also, I'll put affiliate links to the RTs of products that we use. So yeah, if you want, if you want to get them, them up. don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see this pretty face next time for another doodle date. Bye.